videos posted, you NASA's gonna be calling you. What's up everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, we are at the gorgeous Virginia International Raceway go-kart track with our 672 stroke go-kart. So we have a good relationship with the guys that, that run the kart track. Patrick is a really super cool guy. It's a great road course. And it was kind of our best bet for finding some tarmac to ride this go-kart on, because all we have is dirt. Yeah. Uh, I called Patrick and I said, hey man, we've repowered one of your old go-karts. Can we bring it back up? He said, sure man, bring it on up. Um, so we have no idea if he's actually going to let us on the track with this go-kart, because years ago, he said, you guys bring whatever you want, just not the one with the Ducati engine on it. And this one is supposed to be more powerful than that. Yeah. So we're pulling up right now and we're gonna get reaction, get a reaction. So keep your fingers crossed for us. I'm, I'm wondering. I'm a little afraid. <laughs> I'm a little, little worried here. Dude, that Good. thing is mad to the max. <laughs> yeah. It was like 126 decibels without a muffler. So we, we decided. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate yeah, of course. It was, it was loud enough. You is this taste actually it. holding it together? Oh no, it's just holding it. Okay, all, all right. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> no, Sweet. this is really cool, guys. Shocked. He hasn't kicked this out yet. He just yeah. said. <laughs> no. Right. He was like, yeah, "What size is it?" Need, so I got neck collars, head socks, helmets. Gonna need all that stuff. Suits, jackets. So we just gotta sign the waiver and you know see what we can do. So we've been given the green light by Patrick and the guys at the track, and the cart is pretty much ready. Charles spent some time putting some new tires on the cart, uh, so we have some fresh tread after the massive burnout in the last episode, and Ike rigged up a cooling fan so we can have some airflow when we're turning some laps. So the cart should be ready to go, but we still need uh, definitely to do some gentle shaking down because it's going to handle a whole lot differently on the tarmac than it will on the dirt. After we shake it down, we're gonna do a drag race and a circuit challenge up against one of the rental carts here at Virginia International Raceway. They're powered by de-governed Honda GX270s, and they're pretty darn quick. Yeah. And then we're finishing the day off with the 670 by bringing in a professional racing driver. He goes by the Stooge, and he holds the track record for the rental carts here. We're gonna see if we can come close with this beast. So, let's do it, boys. All right. Are you excited or mainly scared? Eh. Only you are not phased about something like this. I'm pretty terrified.
I think I got a little fuel starvation. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it stalled. Okay, I think uh oh, something's up. I think the carburetor might have come loose or something. It felt like let's, it went down to let's, one. Let's give it a check out. How's the heat feel on the radiator? Oh, here. Not even like maybe 140. I could touch it. So I mean it's it's doing something. Alright, does that carburetor look like it come loose? It does, something. but it's not like out of the socket. It's pretty darn wobbly, though. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't feel like it's got everything. No, something doesn't feel. Something doesn't sound. Right. It was like real impressive at first, and then it's just kind of gone down on power. It looked really stinking fast. Oh man, what a handful! This thing, uh, in the beginning, was uh really impressive it felt really good um so i made a few laps and then i i decided it was time to party and then all of a sudden we're we're like down a cylinder or half a cylinder or something like when i put her under load it's like no and it, it doesn't seem to run as smooth so i think we're dropping a cylinder we got a fouled plug or maybe a vacuum leak or something so uh we kind of gotta go through some things and, and see what we can find it's a pretty impressive uh the first time i really got down on it i swear it felt like it picked the front wheels up or it, they were dancing at least there's a whole lot of poop your pants here does it accelerate as hard as the ducardi i think so I think so. It, it, it felt like it. Um, uh, the power is more manageable on this one than. It looks like it's pretty darn easy to handle, all things considered. Yeah. Uh, the Ducati, it's like it goes from 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 enjoying it to a whole lot of ah, you know, like that. This one, you can just mess with the pedal and and whatever you feel comfortable doing, it'll do it. Let's get to diagnosing. All right. So checking out the spark plugs. The first one looked okay. Yeah. We're looking to see if they're fouled. Yeah, that one's fouled. Look at that. She's wet. So um, maybe we ought to swap that one with this one, and then when it does it again, we can. Uh, so it's the outboard one that's wet. If, if we check it again and the outboard one is wet again, then we have a problem with either spark or a bad cylinder. Uh, so let's swap them out and, and see what we got. This cart was absolutely ripping for a few laps, um, but we lost power due to what looked like a fouled plug. But we have a new spark plug in there, um, and we're just going to see what happens. Let it rip again. Let Ike do a couple more laps, and then... Uh, do this drag race we're talking about. Put it up against a rental cart. It looks fast. It's pretty fast. Holy moly!
That was so cool. made light work of that back stretch. I think it's geared too darn tall to be honest with you. Cause like you get into it and it accelerates and then it's like freight train mode. Yeah. Like straight rocket ship. Right. It is cool. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're hot. <laughs> So it, this is nuts. It stayed running on both cylinders? Yeah. Okay, good. It was so fast. Good. Who's next? Charles. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Woo. Charles, you got any thoughts going into your first ride? Uh, I mean, I feel like an astronaut getting ready to ride a rocket ship. You, you know, should. when they. On they the outside the of the helmet. rocket ship. <laughs> yeah. You're on the outside. Yeah. I, I feel like a Buzz Aldrin right now. That, that negative. It's nope. gonna be tough Sorry. on there. Oh. I'm gonna hand him the speed app so we can see oh. what kind of speeds we're hitting out here. Now this is not a very long straightaway, but I still bet, bet we're hitting over 50 miles an hour. That was amazing. That was pretty good. <laughs> Dude, it's a rocket ship. It's we built a rocket ship. Yeah, we built a darn rocket ship in a shed, boys. When this video is posted, you NASA's gonna be calling you. Oh yeah, they're gonna be offering us all jobs. Yeah, they're like, wait, <laughs> y'all can send us to the moon for that much? What are we paying these scientists for? I call yeah, I don't know no. if that was accurate. Yeah, maybe the, the G, maybe it was so fast it couldn't the GPS couldn't keep up with it. Yeah, the speed app only said 29 miles an hour, but no way. it's definitely faster than that. So, I mean, we can throw it in our pocket for another run. So we've all had a go on the 672 stroke, and it's gonna destroy a rental cart. So we're gonna keep it simple with one rolling start drag race starting right here at the beginning of the track, and then we're gonna get our mysterious professional racing driver to see if he can officially beat the track record. So, Charles is on the 670, Ike's on a rental cart. Let's see what happens. It's important to note that the rental cart Ike is riding is no slouch. They're powered by de-governed Honda 8 horsepower engines, capable of between 40 and 45 miles an hour in the straightaways. It is hilarious to see that 670 cart blow by the rental like it's standing still.
So now that we know the 670 is running on both cylinders, it's making a ton of power, we're gonna see if we can break the VIR kart track record, which is right around 46 seconds. To do this, we've recruited a professional racing driver. He's called The Stooge. hear that the stooge ran into more engine troubles on that back straightaway. On top of that, this view really shows just how poorly this cart turns to the right. Even with those handicaps, the 670 cart demolished the previous track record. beat the track record down on power down on and power 4353 yeah that's that's pretty good so the stooge ran it in 4353 making it three seconds faster than the previous track record yeah and that wasn't even full throttle and that wasn't even full power so i am pretty confident that this thing running right can get into the 30s and I was just blown away by the acceleration. Just slung you right back in the seat. It was like riding that built Yamaha Banshee that my buddy had. And I really like how this doesn't get hot because it's not bolted to the engine. Yeah, the acceleration was probably the most impressive thing to me. Uh, it doesn't corner right worth a darn. I mean, you gotta pray that it's gonna make a right turn. Corners left great. It corners left awesome, but not, not a right turn. Yeah, uh, the acceleration was absolutely bananas. It was on another level of anything I've experienced, but it handles really well. It's very controllable. Uh, we, there are a couple of takeaways from today. We need a better flowing fuel source, I think. Yes, uh, better flowing fuel source. We're gonna have to replace the plugs, and I might suggest a new uh, coil and wire, coil and wires and all that stuff. Just basically a good tune-up on this thing for. Uh, the best performance. And I think it's it's controllable enough to take it to the drag strip. I'd, I'd do it. Yeah, so you can catch that in another episode of Cars and Cameras. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode. We have to uh, give a huge thank you to the guys at the Virginia International Raceway Go-Kart Track for letting us out here. We had the whole place to ourselves and they let us ride it, boys. We didn't think they were going to. Uh, we were positive they weren't going to let us. <laughs> uh, and it handled really amazingly well. I, there was not one scary moment on this track today for me. Nope. If you find yourself in this area, the Danville, Virginia area, come on out here. Uh, give them a, a, a call. They have awesome rental go-karts that you can pay 25 bucks and beat up on uh, for a few laps. It's a ton of fun. Uh, it's even fun compared to a 100 horsepower go-kart. Absolutely. <laughs> so. And please let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you. Exactly. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.